On to Perro. He's thought about having a go here! And on to it comes Saul, and it's 1-1. Oh, that's a wonderful ball. Grealish, lovely take, lovely second goal. Adam Armstrong challenging Dawson. And Brozier collects it. Armando Brozier. And still, what a run! Oh, what a goal! Southampton through to the quarterfinals. Rubber stamped by a moment of brilliance from Brozier. Adam Armstrong made a nuisance of himself, and then it's all about the Albanian. Dribbled his way into a promising position, and then swept it beyond Alphonse Sariola, and the game is beyond West Ham now. Phil Foden. Oh, that's a wonderful ball. Grealish, lovely take, lovely second goal. Manchester City are heading into the last eight. This is a delicious pass by Phil Foden. Onside and on the money. Brilliant touch as well by Grealish. And a lovely finish. And they're heading beyond round five for the seventh time in ten seasons. Jones. Made up by Coburn. Brooks. Coburn. Goal gaping. Goal found. Goal given. Middlesbrough lead. What a substitution. And he is on site. It's Emerson Royale, who's on the penalty spot, who's playing Coburn on site. As Crooks feeds him, he takes a couple of touches, and what a hit that is. You see Royale coming across now from that penalty spot position. He was the one that played him on side. He takes a touch, he moves it onto his favoured right side, and what a hit that is. Hugo Lloris, no chance. Chris Wilder, ecstatic. Peters on to Perro. He's thought about having a go here and decided to do so and has produced a magnificent finish. It's his first goal for Southampton and boy is it one to remember. What a hit. Clean as a whistle. Little hope for Ariola with that. It is a sumptuous strike. Into the ball up from Osho. Into Werner from Mount. And onto it comes Saul, and it's 1 1. What a lovely finish that was from Saul Niguez. It is the Spaniards' first goal for Chelsea. He took it really nicely. Out of the reach of his step for the equaliser. Gibson finding Sargent. He's got Rook ahead of him here. It's Lucas Rook, and it's 2 1. And Norwich City do have a foothold. They're on the board and back in this cup tie. With 14 minutes to go. In it goes, punched by the goalkeeper, comes out to Jairo Riedemald to put Crystal Palace 2-1 up. Seven minutes to play and the substitute is the most unlikely of goal scorers for Palace, really. It's another one from a corner. He controlled it well and drilled it low into the bottom corner. What a moment for the Dutchman to make it Crystal Palace 2, Stoke City 1. He took it quite brilliantly. And could that be the winner? 